Eric here with Camera Clubhouse. Today I want to talk about replacing light seals in your vintage cameras. One problem with like old cameras from the 70s or 60s or even the 80s is the foam light seals in the camera has deteriorated and this can cause light leaks. Right here I have a Canon Canonet QL17 G3 and these are great classic cameras but they're notorious for having light leaks and the reason is because of the deteriorated light seals. I've just replaced the light seals in this Canonet. I've got another Canonet right here that I need to replace the light seals in. So one problem that causes the light leaks in the Canonet is the design of the back door. So you'll notice that when I close the back door it just overlaps right there. It just causes a single overlap. And so this camera really relies on the foam light seals to block all these seams from having light coming in from the outside and ruining your film. This Konica Auto S2, the back design is a bit better. So you notice here on the bottom, if you can see right here, it's difficult to see because it's dark, but there's sort of a groove right there. So instead of having the back come and overlap on the bottom edge, it actually slots into that groove right there. And this is a lot better design. It still has the foam light seals, but what happens is this groove, the door comes in like that, and it creates a double seal so that light can't get in. It's a light trap. And so this works a lot better. So even when I find an old camera, and the seals are bad, if it has that design, usually you can just use it as is and it probably will not uh, have light leaks. Now as you can see, there's all this black stuff right here and this was the foam light seal. It used to exist right there in the camera, but it's deteriorated and come off and it's just kind of a mess. It's really gross. It turns into sort of like this sticky goo like if you see right here. It's just like it's really sticky. So let me show you uh, what I did with this Canonet. So th this Canonet has uh, three three pieces where the seals go. It has a se thin seal on the top right there. Another seal right there. And then it's difficult to see, but there's um, a seal just under this little flap right here as well. So what you just need is you need some adhesive back foam. Um, you can search on Google or perhaps eBay, um, and I found some sources where it's being sold specifically for camera light seals. But you might also just find some adhesive back, like craft foam, at the craft store. Here's some of the foam that you can use. I've got some that's about two millimeters thick right here, and then some thinner stuff right here. And so, depending on the camera, you might want something thicker or thinner, depending on what will fit better. So I cleaned all the old stuff off. Um, just using some q-tips and some of this nail polish remover. Uh, nail polish remover has a bit of acetone in it and that's a good solvent for getting this stuff off. I also tried using Goo Gone um, but that didn't really work as well. Some of the tools you'll need are an X-Acto knife. I've got this little pick tool. I've got this little plastic scraper. An old credit card would work well also. You also need a ruler to measure out the new pieces of light seal foam and then you will also need some cotton swabs. So I just try and look at where all the gunk is and try and deduce where the light seals are supposed to be and usually it's not too tough to figure out. And then I just measure uh, the size of the pieces that I need. When I was doing the other camera I measured you know, measured the different spots and then wrote down the size of pieces I need and then I cut them out and then after I had the camera all cleaned up then I could just stick them in and it was a pretty simple job. This is all the nasty gunk that came out of the camera. This is all the deteriorated light seals. It's just gross. Okay, now that's all fixed up I can load this bad boy with a cheap roll of film and test it out make sure I don't have any light leaks. So 
that's just a simple look, basic uh, ideas behind replacing light seals in your vintage cameras. Um, I hope the tips kind of helped out, and if you have any questions, just feel free to message me or leave a comment, and I'll try and help you out. Don't be afraid to replace the light seals in your camera. It's probably actually one of the easiest uh, camera repair jobs that you could do yourself. And if you're scared, you could just find an old junk camera at the thrift store and practice on that first. Usually if you buy some light seal material, you'll have plenty to do more than one camera. If you like this video, just comment, like, subscribe. Thanks!